hello guys today we model this trust we today we have a trust i want to model in revit and analyze in autodex robot so let's get into it so when you open your revit you it doesn't matter the version as long as it's a little bit higher version is fine you come to new you come to choose structural template since it's a structural design we're going to do then you click ok when you open here if it's a structural template you should have analytica we'll be using bs bs code to design this structure so now when you come here you click on you you click on these levels or you can just click on level one immediately you can start to create levels character to create your grid pick on grid you can draw draw the first grid we are having a span of 15 meters you can offset Offset seven thousand five hundred. That is a half and half. Okay. We draw another grid zero here. Let's change this to A. Then the truss is being spaced. Create similar. And the truss spacing is five thousand. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So we have these now. Click on not. Let's change the height. This is the height of our building. It's four thousand five hundred. Then the, that is the height of the column. Then the height of our truss depends on according to british code it depends on depends on the span so from structural designer from steel designers manual when when you come to trusses under trusses you come to building they give that span up to 15 meter they have given a span to depth ratio of six to seven so the span to depth ratio of six to seven that that means fifteen thousand divided by let's just use the half and see six point five the height we range around two point three you can use two two meters yeah there's a range there's not a particular figure so from here now I can put my columns or come to here now come to T column universal column uh, use the height click on put the column here you can tap on your space bar to rotate the column and pick this one see oh, this column is too big so we'll use that this is just preliminary. When, when we do our design in Autodesk robots, the software will tell us the best members. Take a look at this. Okay. Okay. So now the next thing we are going to do is we import 
we import the the members that we want to use for our trust before we create the trust so come to insert load family you see when, when you come when you load your family now I'm using UK structural template so I'll come to structural framing still British they say I'm using a rectangular hollow sections open so I'll pick the rectangular hollow section that I want to use maybe I want to use 60 I'll press control I'll come down when I want to select another one I'll see press control now I'll select another one I'll see press control so let's say those are the ones I want to use then now uh, open it so now I can come to structure I come to my level 2 that is my trust level so at this level now now, now I'll come to any of these but first on my levels as you know the grid that this I want to start at grid A so I'll now come to one of these nodes I'll pick trust immediately I'll pick trust and tell me to choose the grid and I want to start at grid A okay so you can model use this trust and then customize it in the way that you want to start from here and end there at the 15 meters I want to select this trust there's some properties the span is 15 meters the height let's say it doesn't matter let's say we'll start with this. 1000 mm -hmm. then the the actual spanner is 1250 I think that is enough let's let's measure it and see from here to center to center of these yeah good so let's change this member these are not the members I want to use when we select it we'll come to a D type on the top chord we can change we are using 80 on the top chord that is just the preliminary our webs those ones in the middle so we are using 60 diagonals and webs see 60 then our bottom cards our bottom cards also go for 80 Apply and close So like this here then we we'll it customizes in the way that we want top cause yes it depends say so half from here to here but we can delete this oh control Z delete this then I also pick the bottom cards I will pick the bottom cards here they say I want they say they say I want to work with 900 900 to Yeah. 
So it depends on the orientation which you're trying to achieve. Finish this. Oh, how to do that one? So uh, control. See, you see this with it. This can be solved. It's not hard. But this is pinned, so you can't edit it. But immediately you release it, you can be able to edit. So how do you do that? Let's finish. Mm -hmm. I did Control Z. So when you have this issue, I've select the whole. I'll select the whole trust. Let's see. Structure from here. No. Select the whole trust on pin it. When when you pin it, bring your mouse close to it. Press your tab and select it. You can drag it to the position you want. Bring your mouse close to this. Click tab, select it, and drag it to the position you want. I think this is what we want. So, and if you are on analytical model, this is what you are going to see. Let's go back to, to this so we can select all of these. Go to level two, copy. Can be copied at the common point. Multiple is activated. Yeah, we have this. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create our polines. So to, to effectively create your polline, we'll come back to the ground level and we'll do what we call reference plan. We'll so the best way to do this is we we'll, we'll come to view. When you come to view, come to elevation, frame elevation. You can pick one of these elevations. We'll open here. Well, good. We we'll open this here now. So we have so let's create we now come to reference plan we can and pick I can, I can select here and just draw Alright, I can drag it. Y is T on editing. I hold left click there, hold and drag on this side. Then I can name it. Let's say right ref right reference Thanks. at the left of we set at the right. Set reference. Then it. Mm -hmm. Hold it and drag outside. So you can re can rename it. 
left reference root. So now go back to your 3D and let's create polines. For us to create per lines is easy. Come here to structure beam systems. We can set level. We can pick our right reference okay this this show and see this side okay this right hand side that our reference we can off it then 3d on top view now you can be able to draw of this of this sorry Uh, let's go to level two here. So we can draw this is on the half of our trots. I want our beam direction to be this side and spacing 1000 correct with let's use this finish let's say in 3D so you can see that due to our reference has been able to carry the shape that we want. Mm. Can I actually select this control. Come to Z justification. Use button. See that has been done correctly. As you select that, you come to level two so that you can see grid and copy it. If it's not selected. You can select this. Level two, copy. Have this. can see we can see do it at the left hand side now structure set we pick left show yes. no I did follow our grid
we do beam system No. Level two. Okay. Cut all these. So, can select this. The justification. I'm going to level two with this. Not showing. Go back, select this. Come to level two, copy. You have your polaris. Here now we can have our beam shot. Come to level two. Beam. This I can choose. This okay.
12 gram, pick one, and draw two, and copy it. Select similar entire project and come to level 2, copy, let's so find the common point, bring it to this way. Yeah, we can, can put some breezes before we export it to auto water decks robot. We can put some um, wind breezes on it. Or if we like, we can export we can export it outside and put some wind breezes. So let's we export it like this. In our next lecture, we we'll now export now export this structure to robot and put our wind braces there and then analyze. Thank you for watching.